new shiny legendaries and new forms of legendaries. I say we go over some of the raid guides. I'm Alex Gummy, aka Cheekly, and welcome to Pokemon Go Ahead. Oh my god! Back to back! Another shiny! Yeah. Oh my god! So I just literally started recording this video seconds after the last video. If you haven't seen the last episode, we pretty much covered everything about the month of March, including the Season of Legends' very own Legendary Raids that's going to feature Tornandus, Landorus, and Thunderous. It's Incarnate Forms and their Therian Forms, and the Incarnate Forms are all going to have Shinies. So I figure before we start doing the Raid Hours, let's have a look on what these Shinies are going to look like. So this is the picture of Tornandus. On the very top is a regular incarnate form of it. And at the very bottom is a shiny. And if you guys are not looking close enough, they, there's not really much, you know, different. You could tell that its skin is a lighter green and it looks like it's like a blue color on the tail and the spots on its body. Thunderous is slightly kind of different, still ugly you know, shiny wise, but hey, it has purple, so it's probably my favorite out of the three just because purple's my second favorite color. So if you look at the top one, obviously um, Thunderous is pretty much blue, um, and it has like, you know, the blue on the tail as well. If you look closer in the shiny, which is at the bottom, you could see that Thunderous has a little bit of purple spots and the purple tail. So that's how you can tell what is a shiny. And finally, Landorus. This is the most notable, but I mean, it's okay. So for Landorus, it has this dark orange, but when it's shiny, it's like a bright orange. You know, like an orange cone or like an orange vest, you know, like you know how that's like a noticeable color. So if it looks like a really neon orange, that's what Landorus looks like. Okay, so we obviously do not know anything about Theory and Landorus, but we're going to assume it's going to be the exact same thing as Incarnate form of Landorus, except that the CPs are going to be different. So I'm going to first pull up the legendary raid for Landorus, the Incarnate form. And again, we don't know anything about the Therian form because it's obviously coming out in April and we're focusing on March. So Landorus's CP range is going to be 1965 to 2050. So if you need a 100% IV Landorus, you better want to get a 2050. If it's weather boosted, whether it is Sunday or windy because it's a ground flying type you want a 2563 so for a hundo if it's regular 2050 if it's weather boosted 2563 take notes the fast attacks are going to be mud shot and rock throw then for the charge moves you're going to have earth power outrage rock slide and focus blast now landorus only has two weaknesses and they are ice and water but ice is four times strong against this pokemon so that's that you're going to need about two to five people but i would recommend five or six don't attempt to duo it and even if you have really good mammal swine don't don't do it the best encounters are going to be Galarian, Darmanitan with Ice Fang and Avalanche, Mammal Swine with Powder Snow and Avalanche, Glaceon with Frost Breath and Avalanche, Weavile with Ice Shard and Avalanche, Mewtwo with Psycho Cut and Ice Beam, and finally Jinx with Frost Breath and Avalanche. So pretty much you're going to be using a lot of Ice types because it's four times weak to ice. Now the incarnates and Ethereum forms are kind of the same in terms of the move sets and the encounters, but the CP I believe is probably the only thing that's different. So let's look at Tornandus incarnate form real quick. So for a 100% IV, you want to get a 1911. That is a 100% IV Tornandus. If it's weather boosted, since it's a pure flying type, which we hardly ever hear of. It's not a normal flying type, it's a pure flying type, which is 
weird, but hey, we got one. The 100% IV would be a 23.89. Next up, we have the fast moves. We have Air Slash and Bite. Then we have Charge moves, which are Hurricane, Hyper Beam, Grass Knot, and Dark Pulse. Again, this would also require five to six trainers to battle. I know it says two to five on Leak Duck, but I would discourage everybody to have less people. You need as many people as you can because, hey, they're new shinies, all right? It is going to have three weaknesses, Electric, Ice, and Rock. The best encounters are going to be Rampardos with Smackdown and Rock Slide, Zekrom with Charge Beam and Wild Charge, Galarian Darmanitan with Ice Fang and Avalanche, Electivire with Thundershock and Wild Charge, Raikou with Thundershock and Wild Charge, and Rhyperior with Smackdown and Rock Wrecker. Now, the Ethereum form of Tornandus is pretty much the same, except its CP is going to change for the Hundo. So if you want a 100% IV Ethereum Tornandus, you want to get an 1837, and then when it's weather boosted, it's going to be 2296. So those are the numbers that will show you what a hundo is. And for the last one, we have Thunderous. Now, Thunderous is an electric flying type. Think of Thunderous like Zapdos, all right? Now, for the 100% IV, it's pretty much kind of the same thing as the Tornandus. It's pretty much 1911 and then 2389 for the hundo. So it's, you know, CP-wise, then Thunderous and Landorus are kind of the, sorry, Thunderous and Tornandus are pretty much the same. They're kind of like brothers. The fast moves are going to be Thundershock and Astonish. That's very shocking and very astonishing. Haha, <laughs> okay, anyway. Charge moves are gonna be Thunder, Thunder Punch, Crunch, and Brick Break. And since it's an electric flying type, it's only gonna have two weaknesses, which are Ice and Rock. And again, like I said about the last two, would highly recommend five to six trainers or more considering that, look, you don't want it to duo it and uh, there's a shiny potential for this now. The encounters for Thunderous are gonna be Rampardos with Smackdown and Rock Slide. You have Dar... Just use Galarian Darmanitan for all of them. If you don't have a Galarian Darmaka, that is your problem, not mine. Rhyperior with Smackdown and Rock Wrecker, Terrakion with Smackdown and Rock Slide, Mammal Swine with Powder Snow and Avalanche, and Glaceon with Frost Breath and Avalanche. So those are the best encounters for this one. And of course, the Ethereum form, literally everything is the same except the CP range. So if you want a 100% IV Ethereum Thunderous, you gotta get one with a CP of 2091. And if it's weather boosted, whether it's rainy or um, windy, I was about to say snowy, that was incorrect. Then it's going to be 2614 as the hundo. So if you're wanting to know what the hundos are, those are the hundos. Alright guys, so that's going to be pretty much for today's episode. I am exhausted. Um, I will see you guys in another episode. Hopefully we can get something shiny that is new during this Kanto celebration event. Otherwise... Thank you for watching. Peace out.